half the Students enrolled in journalism classes for next semester will be in unfamiliar territory when they have to vacate their beloved building in order to make room for the upcoming renovation. Dean Jerry Suppos explains what the renovation will bring to the school. Um, when we're finished, we're going to have a multimedia newsroom that's going to have every platform available for students to, to learn on. And I look on that multimedia uh, newsroom as the uh, sort of the centerpiece of the entire project. I would like to see that happen. ASUN Senator Jonathan Moore believes that the work done to the building will benefit everyone connected to the school. Here. The renovation is not only going to provide us with the newest technology, but it's going to just renovate the entire school and make it a lot more student friendly and more accessible for 21st century technology. The current equipment used by the broadcast students is over 20 years old and still uses analog technology, which has been replaced by digital technology. Sepos explains how, through donations, the school was able to pay for these upgrades. The Reynolds Foundation gave us a magnificent gift of $7.96 million to do this overhaul of the building. And I'll tell you, in these times of tight state budgets, uh, it's just, it's a wonderful gift. Uh, that n never could have been accomplished um, using, using state funds. While the faculty is grateful for the improvements, the transition out of the building won't come without drawbacks. Um, it will feel different not to be all together in the same building. It will feel different for faculty and different for students too because we're accustomed to hanging out with each other. In a few months, this building, like this tree, will be empty. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Zach Anderson.